Your computer would be close to useless without your trackpad, and if yours is in need of a little love, you've come to the right place, because today I'm gonna show you how to replace the trackpad in your 13-inch MacBook Air. Hi, I'm Gwendolyn with iFixit, and for this repair you're going to need a P5 pentalobe screwdriver, a Phillips double zero screwdriver, a spudger, and a T5 Torx screwdriver. I have all the tools I need, and I also have my magnetic mat. It's not listed as one of the required tools, but I never do a repair without it. It helps me stay organized and keeps me from losing important parts. Today, I'm working on an early 2015 version of the MacBook Air. While some of the steps are very similar to other versions of the MacBook Air, always follow the step-by-step -step guide for your specific machine. You can find all the guides on ifixit.com. These guides not only walk you through the complete repair, but you can also see comments and notes from other users who have followed it to help you when you do your repair. Let's get started. First things first, make sure your computer is completely turned off and disconnected from any power source. Then flip your air over so we can tackle the back panel. To do that, we're gonna unscrew the pentalobe screws holding it in place. There are 10 screws total, but there are two that are right under where the display meet the case that are a different size. So make sure you separate those from the rest on your magnetic mat when you take them out. Now you can pull the lower case off with your fingers. Before we go any further, we're going to disconnect the battery. Apple made this part easy for us by adding a plastic pull tab. Pull it towards the front of the air to disconnect the battery from the logic board, but make sure you don't pull up and damage the connector. Now that the battery is disconnected, let's work on removing it, starting with the five T5 screws securing the battery to the upper case. Two of those five screws are a different size, so just make sure you label them correctly when you take them out. Time to take the battery out, but make sure you avoid squeezing or touching the four exposed lithium polymer cells. Take the battery out by lifting the edge nearest the logic board. With the battery out of the way, we can see the trackpad ribbon cable. In order to disconnect that, we need to release the retaining flap on the zip connector with the tip of our spudger, and then pull it directly out of the connector. Next is the keyboard ribbon cable. This one is fun because it's folded over on itself. While carefully lifting the keyboard ribbon cable with one hand, use the tip of your spudger to flip up the retaining flap. Then you can pull the cable from the connector. Okay, on to the Phillips screws holding the trackpad in place. There's quite a few, 12 to be exact. Half are for the uppercase and the other half are for the brackets. This is where the magnetic mat really comes in handy. Those are small screws and they love to roll away when you're not looking. Once the screws are out, you can remove the brackets from the air. One more screw stands in our way, a T5 Torx set screw near the front edge of the upper case. Now that there's nothing holding our trackpad down, all we have to do is lift up with our spudger and remove it from the upper case.
For reassembly, we recommend you follow the step-by-step -step guide on ifixit.com in reverse, or you can watch the MacBook Air reassembly video on our channel. You can find all the parts and tools you need for this and many other repairs at ifixit.com and let us know how it goes. You can find me on Twitter at Gwendolyn Gay or follow ifixit at ifixit. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to stay up to date on all our latest teardowns and repair videos and give us a like on Facebook at facebook.com slash ifixit.